whereas it's provided by Section 61, 65.1 of the Public Finance Management Act, Cap 15.01 of the Act, that the Minister of Finance may, by an affirmative resolution of Parliament, grant a guarantee in accordance with, the, with an enactment. And whereas it's further provided on Section 69.2 of the Act, that a guarantee <coughs> issued by the government or contingent liability created by the government in accordance with the, regu <coughs> with the regulations under the Act and in accordance with other enactments shall be charged on and paid out of the consolidated fund. <coughs> and whereas it is provided Section 21.1 of the National Lotteries Authority Act, Cap 13.20, that is the approval of Parliament, the government may guarantee in such a manner and on such conditions as it may seem fit the repayment of principal and the payment of interest and other charges in respect of any borrowing by National Lottery Authority. And whereas the Minister of Finance considers it necessary to guarantee an amount of EC $80 million, the loan, from the first National Bank Central Limited, the bank, in the, to the National Lottery Authority to assist in the financing of a youth and sports infrastructure program. And whereas the loan is repayable in 15 years in biannual payments of $3,571,993 and seventy-eight cents, inclusive of interest at a rate of 4% per annum for the term of the loan. Be it resolved that Parliament authorizes the Minister of Finance to guarantee amount of EC $80 million, the loan, from the First National Bank to Mutual Limited, the bank, to the National Lotteries Authority to assist with the financing of a youth and sports infrastructure program. Be it resolved that the loan is repayable in 15 years in biannual payments of $3,571,993.78 inclusive of interest at the rate of 4% per annum. Mr. Speaker, I want to make it clear that the government is giving the National Lottery Authority a guarantee because of the Public Finance Management Act and, and it is considered a contingent liability on the government. But the government is not responsible to paying that loan back unless the National Lottery Association falters. I want to make it clear that contrary to what was being spread yesterday, the government is not borrowing the $80 million, but it is guaranteeing the $80 million for the National Lotteries Association Authority. And if the National Lottery Authority cannot pay, then the government takes on the repayment of the loan. <clears throat> but Mr. Speaker, but Mr. Speaker. Repaid in full. You know why? <clears throat> because the National Lottery Association has its own revenue stream. And from that revenue stream, the loans are repaid. So we're not <clears throat> taking anything away. But what are we doing? What will that money be used for, Mr. Speaker? It will be used, one, to get the grounds ready for Cricket World Cup, ICC Cricket World Cup, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, the Minister of Tourism will outline to you how the ticket sales, because the Minister
Listen, in. you must not have to tell my pictures to you still there, you know. I'm the one who opened that hotel, you know. I bet now, they, now, now they must take out the thing, you know. I was the minister of tourism who opened the hotel, you know. And these, those were better days. So, Mr. Speaker, every hotel room in St. Lucia has been sold for June for Cricket World Cup, Mr. Speaker. Plus the fact that that money is going to be used to upgrade the Darren Sami cricket ground, which needs upgrading, it needs maintenance, it needs, there's work, no work has been done on the pitch, on the playing surface for a long time, for a long while, we are going to be using some of the money to do it. We are going to be using some of that money to upgrade the grocery playing field. And if you go today, in the place that you said was only good for demonstrations, you will see that the Mindo Phillip Park is being renovated. As we speak, the roof is off. The roof on the place we are in is down, Mr. Speaker. And one, two, three of the stands have already been, been constructed. One, two, three have already been rebuilt. They allowed the Mindo Phillip Park to ruin, to, to, to affect me. They ruined, they left it in ruins. They didn't do anything with it because they thought they would affect me and the doctrine would have worked, Mr. Speaker. They allow it to just stay. The, a, 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 ground, a ground that has history. I mean, the Philip Park has history, Mr. Speaker. They allow it to just go into, just leave it and rotten. The Marshall grounds, Mr. Speaker, allow it again. They just never touched it. I spent a million dollars, we spent between the SSDF and the Ministry of Sports to repair the Marshall grounds, Mr. Speaker. I must say, and to resurface it completely, me as Minister of Sports, we, we, we visited this, it was once, and we put lights in there, Mr. Speaker, in the middle of the Philippines. I must say, it was vandalized, Mr. Speaker. <clears throat> and I've said to my constituents, I have, a, I have a zero tolerance towards vandalism and criminality. I don't meet them in back, back meetings and tell them one thing and say another thing. I don't do that. <coughs> they know me. They know exactly where I'm coming from. And that's why they have re-elected me six times. Because they know exactly where I'm coming from. I speak the truth to them. They trust me and I trust them. When they falter, I tell them they falter, you're wrong. And I've said to them they're wrong because they ought not to damage the martial grounds. And we're going to be repairing the stands in the, on the martial grounds. And then I have said that there'll be a zero tolerance towards vandalism in the, in, on the martial grounds, Mr. Speaker. So that money will be used to redo the Mindy for the Park because it'll be used as a practice ground. <clears throat> that money will be used. Because you might hear this, you might hear in a while, 80 million dollars for sports facilities. Mr. Speaker, there was a fellow called Locker B. And we came in this honorable house and we borrowed 32 million dollars. million dollars spent in which playing field 32 million dollars the last thing I heard about Lockerbie is he said he was having massive gardens Massad Massad but it was really full to really full to already you know what Lord help me. Madison Square Gardens. So they borrowed 32 million dollars. Now, the only what I've seen, and correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. 
artificial turf, putting cricketers in problems because cricketers say they can't get anywhere to play. And I saw artificial turf in Derizo and artificial turf in Derizo. $32 million. If there was more, I would like to find. I This $80 million will be used to prepare St. Lucia for the World Cup. And there are other countries in the region <coughs> who have borrowed in excess of $120 million only for World Cup. So, Mr. Speaker, this is going to be repaid from the revenue stream from the National Lottery Association, Mr. Speaker, because when the Darren Sami grounds are repaired, they will have matches there. In fact, what's the next door, Dr. Hiller? There's the, the CPL program, the CPL, then the English. has happened there for the last years. I remember, I remember very clearly, Mr. Speaker, I remember very clearly, <laughs> this is history, and I read my book. <laughs> when you were building the Darren Sami grounds, when you were building the Darren Sami grounds, Mr. Speaker, we had to take a decision between spending some money on the Mindu Philip Park or saving that. The Honorable, I can call his name, Mario Michel, was the Minister of Education and Sports, and I was the Minister for Tourism, and Minister, Minister the Parliamentary Rep for Cash Cities. As usual, they always want to foment problems among ourselves, <coughs> among us. They always believe they have some secret, that one fighting with that one, and that one everything with that one, and they fight in. between Mario and myself on use, on the, the, the decision to not So we decided that we will not have the Australian tour in Mindu for the Park. They made a big fuss about it, Mr. Speaker. A big fuss, as usual. So this time, we are going to be repairing both the Mindu for the Park and the Darren Sammy Grounds, Mr. Speaker. So, Mr. Speaker, I, I know other members we want to talk about the benefits of the World Cup. And other members, we want to speak about the infrastructure of the sports facilities that they, that they want to happen, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, that's another investment in the young people of St. Lucia. And talking about investment in the youth, Mr. Speaker, did you see what happened in Sufre with Island Champs, Mr. Speaker? Did you see it's the largest sports gathering for a long time in St. Lucia. How it was accepted, Mr. Speaker. And Mr. Speaker, is it by, by coincidence that we see such a infusion of interest in sports and interest in youth development and interest in youth going to business, Mr. Speaker? Because, Mr. Speaker, because it's targeted, because we respect young people, Mr. Speaker. In fact, even though there are segments of who want to 
try to put a wedge between our government and our youth policy, Mr. Speaker. Our youth policy is clear, just like education. No government has done more for young people than the government of the Social Labour Party. No government. There's never a perfect policy. You can find downsides in all policies. But when you come and try to denigrate our contribution, Mr. Speaker, these are the facts show for themselves, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I like members to support this guarantee. It's a guarantee. It will not be paid from any of the financial rules, it has to be treated as a contingent liability to the government. But the government will not have to pay unless the National Lodge Authority cannot make payments. And the history of National Lodge Authority has shown that they have made their payments for any loans they have taken, including the Darren Sammy grants. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Honourable members, the question is that Parliament authorizes the Minister for Finance to guarantee an amount of EC $80 million the loan from First National Bank and Lucia Limited, the bank, to the National Lotteries Authority to assist with the financing of a youth and sports infrastructure program. Be it further resolved that the loan is repayable in 15 years in biannual payments of $3 $571,993.78, inclusive of interest at a rate of 4% per annum for the term of the loan. Member for Suzel. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, still having problems in hearing me? Am I being heard more clearly now? Yeah. 